All right, all right, all right. What is up, everybody? Happy Monday. A lot of people going back to work today. I just got uh, back from going to the grocery store. My best friend in the whole entire universe, Noah Troy Gilgan, is coming over today. Had to go get him some food. And um, a lot more traffic on the street. So for those of you who get to go back to work and make some money, good for you. My name is Gary. This is Crypto and Coffee, your morning jolt of financial news and markets. We talk about crypto. We talk about the stock market, commodities, gold, silver, oil. We talk about real estate. We talk about money. Uh, I've been a professional investor since 2006 when I got my start investing in gold and silver. In 2016, I started investing in Bitcoin and digital assets. And since 2017, I have been trying to wake people up to go and get some crypto and to get out of cash. Cash is trash. Make a plan and uh, make a plan and execute on it. I hope you're having a great day today, Monday, uh, Monday the 4th. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. Let's see what happens if I turn on this light. Does that make my face even better looking? A little bit. Let's see. Let's see. You tell me no light or light. Oh, man. But I'll tell you what, though. Man, I should get sponsored by a company for, like, men and their hair. Because, man, if you are almost 40 years old and you had hair like me, man. I'll tell you what. I mean, I wash it twice a week. And other than that, man, I just do my thing. What's up, Dustin? My man, my dog, dude, my ride or die, my big dog up in Wyoming, the Dakota somewhere. Oh, also guys, probably got a lot of pep in my step because I mean, I'm on like day five or six of no caffeine. This is actually tea, some bomb tea. Um, no, I don't want a haircut. I'm long hair, dude. I'm growing my hair long. Man bun, never. Because one of my goals, actually, uh, you guys can't really see my goal wall here, um, but one of my goals is actually to renounce the physical world and to go live in a cave with the yogis. Um, I'm actually just getting through with, I'm just getting through with the book, Autobiography of a Yogi. Um, this is Steve Jobs' favorite book. He would read this book once a year for 40 years. And I, I'm now on my second go around. I listened to it once last year. I'm listening to it again. It's 17 hours long, um, but profound information. And, you know, after I read it yet last year, I really made a decision that at some point, probably in my 70s. So I got a good little while to enjoy my yacht and the mermaids. Um, but at some point, I'm going to renounce the material world, renounce my material possessions, and go live in a cave and really connect with the non-physical world. But I digress. I digress. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's share these screens. Let's jump into some stuff. I'm getting good at, I'm getting good at this, guys. I'm getting super Super good. Be sure to like, like and share. The more we can grow this community, the more we can grow this show, the more we can grow, grow the Galactic Crypto Facebook group, the more we can um, yacht rock. I don't know what that means. Um, yacht rock. What is yacht rock? But yeah, I'm going to rock a yacht. I got right there, Johnson Palmer, right there, baby, helicopter, you know, Airbus. Uh, whatever. But anyways, um, I want I want to get this thing so that we can be pumping out some dollars, you know, giving out crypto to you guys for helping support the channel. A dollar in XRP for every viewer. Once we get this thing up to let's say, uh, let's say, ten consistent followers, watchers every day, we're going to start giving, giving money away. So be sure to like, share, comment, do all that stuff. And let's have some fun. Wait, let's see what Fletch had to say. It's a music genre. Oh, I'm going to look into it then. I'm going to look into it. What do you know about that magic sword? 
And if you're new to crypto, if you've heard about Bitcoin, you're curious, you've heard about that internet money, then be sure to check out my website, galactictrust.com. Again, since 2017, I've been helping people invest in digital assets and how to utilize them in their business, start accepting crypto as payment. Um, a lot, I've worked on a big, um, a big project. I was on the board of a big project. It was called the Lending Coin, where they were tokenizing real estate. So I've been, I've been around the block a time or two. Go check out the website, a lot of good information. Be sure to check, click this link, 1K to 1 million. Watch that video, it'll blow your mind. Okay, and you can also get a copy of my book, Crypto Investor Secrets, how to capitalize on the greatest investment opportunity in history. You can get that at CryptoInvestorSecrets.com. When you grab that, boom, very simple, step-by-step -step process. I'm gonna thank you here, get the book, but then be sure to click this link to get your free four-part video series. This four-part video series will change your life. It's about all together, all four videos. You're looking maybe two hours, but afterwards you will have a vision of how you can turn a thousand dollars. Every thousand dollars you invest in this market right now has the potential to turn into a million dollars or more. And I lay that out in all this information. All right. If you already have Bitcoin or, or in this case, EOS, and you want to learn how to get a good return on that investment. Look, right now I'm getting about a 4.73% APR return on my investment, and that's paid in the actual EOS coins. So I'm going to gain more EOS coins, and then as those EOS coins go up in dollar values, then I have more dollars also. Does that make sense? So you win coming in, going. Okay. If you want to learn more about that, go watch this stuff. Become a member of Galactic Crypto Network. And moving on to MTI, again, if you got Bitcoin and you want to learn how to get a good return on that investment, hit me up, MTI, just killing it last week, ending at four-tenths of a percent on Friday, seven-tenths of a percent on Thursday, six-tenths of a percent, I mean, every day. Every day, getting paid out in Bitcoin, every afternoon, I don't have to do anything. And this thing's just been killing it. I've actually had a couple people sign up under the affiliate portion of this. And I mean, it's good. I'm an, and I want to show you guys how to make, uh, my goal is to make a thousand bucks a week with MTI. If you want to learn how to do that, hit me up. Okay. And then the last, last plug, and then we'll hop into some fun. Let's see who else is chilling with us this morning. Uh, oh, but anyways, MTI, we're averaging 4.46% every sing Monday through Friday. I got this thing where I speak in absolutes that I'm really working on. And I've made 5% of my investment back in the last 30 days. Not very many invest. I don't know of any investment right now. It's going to give you four, uh, four tenths of a percent every day. Gosh, Monday through Friday. And that your entire investment will be paid off in, right now it's 20 weeks. A little less than 20 weeks. Okay, moving on to the crypto. Who do we got? We got four people. Someone dropped off. Dang it. It's only four bucks. Oh, no, it's five. We always get the max. We're going to send out cash based on the max number of viewers. Okay, Bitcoin up half a percent at $8,800. Ethereum down 1.4% sitting at $206 and rounding out the top three it's XRP up two tenths of a percent sitting at 21.8 cents. Crypto market is down 0.2%, two tenths of a percent. We're sitting at $248 billion. Bitcoin dominance rising 65.2%. Isn't that special? Ah, I meant to do a cool intro. I'm gonna, I got an intro idea for you guys. Comment. How's the video quality? Is that lighting too harsh? Do I got to tone the lighting down a little bit? My goal, you know, we got to get this podcast going. I got this Joe Rogan type podcast idea we're going to be doing. A um, lot of cool stuff, guys. A lot of cool stuff building a tribe. We got seven days left till the having event happens next Tuesday. 
Very interesting. We've talked about what is a block having event. Why was it done? Okay, predictable monetary supply versus, uh, so you're talking deflationary versus inflationary. We, the dollar's inflationary, crypto's deflationary. Okay, who controls the issuance of Bitcoin? The network itself controls the issuance of Bitcoins derived by consensus through all Bitcoin participants. That's what makes it so powerful. So when people say, oh, it's not backed by anything, it's backed by the most powerful computing network known to man. Never been hacked, never. Your bank account, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, they, do, they hack people from the inside. They're hacking people from the inside. Crooks. Um, what was I? Oh, uh, it's the most powerful network in the, on the planet. That's what backs it. It's way more powerful than your freaking dollars. Way more powerful than your bank. Ever so, since Bitcoin was first designed, the following consensus rules exist to this day. 21 million Bitcoins to ever be produced. So again, based on this halving event that's happened at a period of time in the future, let's say around 2050, okay, it will nom it'll normalize. Whereas the, the amount of rewards will become so small based on the blocking. And at that point, I'm sure we'll have quantum computer uh, doing this. That's freaking sweet, man. That is sweet. So again, it's deflationary. As we, we, start, we get to a point in time where the rewards are just, it's, it's pointless. And then it becomes point zero, the having would be, every block would get point zero, zero, zero. It'd get like 100 Satoshi at that point. Interesting, interesting. Target of 10 million block interval. So a block, uh, the target to solve the block is every 10 minutes. Having event occurring every 21, 210,000 blocks, so approximately every four years. The block reward, which starts at 50 and halves continually every having event until it reaches zero, so approximately year 2140. Any change to these parameters requires all Bitcoin participants to agree by consensus to approve the change. And that's where you have what's called a fork. A fork is another Bitcoin, excuse me, they've bit like Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, they've taken essentially the, the, the fundamentals of Bitcoin and they change it. So they might change the block intervals, hash rate type stuff. I'm not a super pro on that. So I'm not going to dive deep into it. I like to have fun. I like to party. Thanks, Dustin. You're always looking good, dog. Have them Bud Lights treat you last night, big guy. Yeah, and never, here's my rules, guys. Here's my rules for drinking, because I love a drink. I love a good drink. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a smoker. I'm a smoker. I'm a joker. I'm a midnight toker. Um, but anyways, is a couple things. Don't buy crypto and don't text your ex when you've been drinking. Those are the only, in fact, being that I know how much Dustin likes Bud Light, is uh, these are actually Post Malone's two rules too. Number one, don't buy crypto. Don't buy crypto. Don't make any sort of impulsive. I shouldn't say that because I like to drink and then go um, shopping. It's really fun. Um, and then don't text your ex. Don't text your ex. Don't by crypto when you've been drinking. Those are my only two rules. Okay, jumping back into the charts. Bitcoin, looking flat, looking like uh, some sort of flag formation. I'm not really good at those types of things. Like, I'm not a chart guy. I just kind of see, uh, looks like it's going up over the last, you know, if this is a daily chart, there's a lot of days going up. But what goes up must come down. So, and, that, and actually, look at this. We're hitting, I mean, about this area. Let's, yeah, where it was once support becomes resistance. So twice we've hit that. Boop, 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 boop. See, so chances are that $9,000 level is big resistance. So, I, again, I'm still holding strong, guys. I'm holding strong, really hoping for a, um, really hoping for a pullback. I'm really hoping for a panic this week. That would have to be this week. 
So fingers crossed, you know, Mondays, Mondays are always interesting days. So the stock market's closed on the weekend. So people are doing their, they're conspiring on the weekends for what they're going to do on the, on Monday. Whereas crypto never sleeps. Okay, moving forward, Bitcoin price retraces to 8,500 going into last week before halving. Bitcoin price is consolidating below the recent $9,500 high. But which way will it go with less than eight days before Bitcoin halving? So um, yeah, last week has been a tremendous week for Bitcoin as the price surged from 7,500 to 9,450. However, since the peak high at 9,450, the top-ranked cryptocurrency by market capitalization has not seen a continuation as the price is consolidating $800 lower. Is the halving hype over? And is the market ready for a correction after a 150% rally since Black Thursday? Black Thursday, I guess they are um, referring to March 20th with this just blood streaming down your computer screen. Um, again, I'm hoping, I mean, even if we were to correct 50% from that high of, you know, roughly, as they were saying, 9450, boom, right there, 9450, 50% down, 50% is, I mean, it's put me right at my target. So I'm looking, that's what I'm looking to buy right here, around 4700. Man, I would just be pumped, pumped. It hit 4,700 or like two grand, two grand. I mean, we would be dancing in the streets. All right. But anyways, anyways, Ethereum, Ethereum just bouncing off of that 100 day moving average. Fault rolling over though. You can see just rolling over. Will we get another wave? I don't know. I think with people going, this is my plan. I've been talking about it. I might be wrong. We will see is people are going to start going back to work. They're going to start going back to work. And then whether it's true or false, that's what, not what this show is about. But the boogeyman coronavirus is going to come back out. You're going to see it all over the news again. Everybody's dying. Get back in your houses. Panic. That could happen this week. This week. So if panic ensues, Markets are going to crash, and I am going to make some buys. Okay? Bitcoin's current rally isn't corrective. It's impulsive. Crypto traders explain why this Bitcoin rally may be more than just a correction. Is Bitcoin's current rally just a bull trap, or is it actually headed for the moon? Trader Alessio Rastani and co-founder of Winter Mute Trading, Johan Turpin, explained why Bitcoin's upward momentum may be impulsive in nature rather than corrective. Don't miss the latest episode of Cointelegraph's crypto market discussions for further analysis of the long-term future of Bitcoin and a glance at which altcoins are looking promising at the moment. I like this guy. I've uh, watched quite a few of his videos. Rastani is a believer in Elliott Wave Theory. According to Investopedia, Elliott Wave Theory is a method of technical allow uh, analysis that identifies impulsive and corrective movements based on three-wave and five-wave patterns. Impulsive waves are in line with the trend, while corrective waves are against the trend. Rastani uses this methodology to describe Bitcoin's current rally. From an Elliott Wave perspective, this rally to me is not corrective. To me, it's actually impulsive. So we've got five waves already in this rally. This fifth wave rally tells me that we're in the beginning of a major. This is to me, this to me is wave one of a longer term bull market in Bitcoin. Turpin, on the other hand, approaches the Bitcoin market from a more macro oriented perspective. He sees Bitcoin success as a function of its correlation with the stock market and its role as an alternative asset. I'd like to believe that the correct correlation from, from here would be le much less, would be much less from here and actually just push Bitcoin further, justifying actually the fact that if, you know, stages get more and more debt, 
states get more and more debt, then you know the fiat currencies get depreciated over time, then actually the I mean, I'm a big macro investor. And here's why I, again, I'm just looking at these charts to see where the current, what things look like and where the energy, like, look, if the energy dissipates and then it comes down, I know that we might correct. Um, but, you know, charts do not take into account black swan events like coronaviruses and massive economic turmoil and, you know, worldwide economic shutdowns. It does not take that into account. And so, um, I, I, I'm not a trader at all, at all. I buy and sell, I buy and store for long periods of time. I'm looking for a thousand X. I'm looking to turn a thousand dollars into a million. I'm not looking to make a hundred bucks a day. I'll look into programs like MTI and dice. If I want to make passive income and money every day, and that's what I do. And that's what I try to teach you to do. But anyways, moving on to XRP. XRP again, like the others, looking like it's rolling over. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. And I just have just this phenomenal play this year. Say a prayer for me. Let's all say a prayer right now. Dear Crypto Father, please bless us with a sell-off so that we might be able to get in at deep, deep discounts and make massive returns on the upside so that we might bless all those around us. Thank you guys. All right. And so again, I'm just looking at the energy. There's not a lot of volume. I don't see, I don't hear a lot of people talking about getting, buying crypto. I think a lot of people are hoarding cash right now. And I just watched a video this morning talk, uh, supporting that. MoneyGram reports quiet quarter for Ripple Partnership. <laughs> Major cross-border payments company MoneyGram, the second largest money remittance cross-border payments company in the world, has reported a quiet quarter with regards to its partnership with Ripple. During an earnings call for Q1 2020, MoneyGram chairman and chief executive Alexander Holmes revealed that it was a quiet quarter regarding the firm's partnership with blockchain payments company Ripple. Ripple's first and Ripple first announced its strategic partnership with the Nasdaq listed money transfer company during June 2019. The partnership's initial term was set at two years with Ripple for providing a capital commitment of up to 50 million over 24 months in exchange for equity. The announcement was also slated to see Ripple act as MoneyGram's key partner for cross-border payment and foreign exchange settlement using digital assets. Despite Ripple drumming up high expectations for the partnership, MoneyGram CEO stated that Q1 2020 was quiet in terms of Ripple services. I would say it was a little bit of a relatively quiet quarter in the sense of really pushing anything particularly new into the market or expanding the service. We did a lot of that back in the half of last year and, we, and really got going on a number of new quarters for that service. But again, I would be curious to know, like, how well is Western Union doing this last quarter with people being laid off, a lot of uncertainty. I wonder how many people are sending money back. But anyways, you can go read that. All right, guys, then moving on to the stock market, stock market rolling over still though. I mean, really now defending 25 or excuse me, 23,500 bouncing off of that 50 day moving average. This is make or break too. This is, I mean, are we now going to make a lower low? That's what we're looking for over the next couple of days. Are we going to make a lower low past this line that I drew? I mean, for not being a chart guy, I'm pretty good. Just joking. Anyways, U.S. stocks or U.S. airline stocks tumble after Buffett sells whole stakes. I think that might be Salt Lake City. That's where I'm from. Maybe not, though. I think I might be wrong. 
coronavirus devastated airlines and the Oracle of Omaha has seen enough. Buffett cautions on extreme consequences from the Fed's recent moves. Oh, he's seeing it. Warren Buffett said he worries about the extreme consequences of the Federal Reserve's action to prop up corporate debt. The Berkshire Hathaway chief mostly praised the central bank, but said it's hard to tell what the outcome of its moves will be. Buffett played a major role during the Great Recession, but has largely avoided buying during the coronavirus crisis. Oh, that means he sees more downside. He sees it, guys. He sees it. Warren Buffett praised the Federal Reserve for its action, but blunt effect to blunt the effect of the coronavirus, but he says he worries about the repercussions. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Dow falls more than 200 points up to start the week, but big tech giants limit markets' losses. School, will schools be open in September? We asked several experts to weigh in. Kramer says Trump can't raise... Yeah, this was a good one. This was a good one. Kramer says Trump can't raise tariffs on China with 30 million unemployed. That's 1932. I mean, this is true. This is true. Oh, my gosh. This, would, this could spark a war with China. I mean, you raise tariffs on China, man, and I think it's really important to recognize that the president now seems to want to raise tariffs with 30 million people unemployed. So there we are. This is 1932. I listened to the president. He acts as if the economy is just doing great or that it's going to come right back. But we ought to be careful. This guy's a freaking. I'm telling you what. I'm not getting into it. I'm just going to bite my tongue. Carnival Cruise Line says it will sail again August 1st. That's a long time. That's a long time because cruise companies generate crazy amounts of money. And now gone. Amazon engineer quits after he snapped when company fired workers for calling coronavirus protections. Oh, that's interesting. Tyson Foods shares fall 7% as production disruptions take a toll on profits. Apple announces new 13-inch MacBook Pro that fixes the keyboard problems. I have keyboard problems with my MacBook. Oil making a comeback. Looking at trying to defend that $21 mark. Gold up over $1,700 again. Trying. Really trying. And see again. See again. Like you can. Boom. I mean, that's a freaking just. Uh, right there. These lines. These are the things we look for. They're like steps. So we see the next step that we would have to overcome on the leg up to break above this and see how it does this. It breaks above, bounces, bounces. It's either going to bounce again. And the odds are if it bounces, hits this again, it's going to come down or it's going to break above. And then we play the game all over again. Play the game all over again. And silver. Good day to buy silver, guys. Good day to buy silver. But don't put all your eggs in one basket. Goldandsilver.com. Goldsilver.com. Go get a copy of Mike's free book. It's totally free. But if you're not a reader, be sure to check out his page where you can get Hidden Secrets of Money. This, this is just the best video series in the world right under mine that you get right here. Galactic Crypto or GalacticTrust.com. And then click that. <laughs> okay. Go and get it. Go and get it. Why? Why gold and silver? I'll tell you why. Because it's, it's awesome. It's nature's money. And nature is much more perfect than man's manipulation and conniving nature.
Okay, and then in other news, Interplay's blockchain's walled off yet vulnerable. First mover, capitalism's biggest crises isn't driving people to Bitcoin, it's the volatility. U.S. Senators, U.S. Senate staffers float blockchain voting if chamber goes remote. Bitcoin price may drop after having. Oh, I got a little hiccups. I got a little hiccups. How you guys doing? I got anybody watching this still? As I read the news. Six. Oh, God. Good job, guys. But if you're watching this live, post live. Post live, we're trying to get, we're trying to build this community so we can start giving money away. I'm going to give away a dollar in XRP for every viewer that we get max viewers every day. So like it, share it, comment, have some fun, grab some coffee. And, uh, you know, if you're not working today, put a little bit of, put a little booze in your coffee. Ah, oh, just got demonetized probably. Dang. Oh, I don't monetize my videos anymore either. So I can talk about whatever the fuck I want now. And that feels good because I do not like people telling me what I can and cannot do. Are you like me? Do you not? I hate it. I hate people telling me what to do. That's why I stopped going to school. I don't like to be told to go to school. All right. Anyways, enough about me, guys. Enough about me. How, enough about me. How are you? How are you? Go ahead and type something in. Let's get this party started. You guys don't like to talk about anything? <clears throat> Legendary short seller Jim Chanos or Kanos on the appetite for risk in this market. It's a little bit disconcerting, he says. I'll tell you what I like, though. Appetite for destruction. If you're a Metallica fan like me, then... You like appetite for destruction. Six foot distancing and temperature checks. That's, this is, this is weird. Oh, that's, citizens may have to nominate 10 friends to isolate with. I mean, you guys are my only friends. And my son who's coming over here. Other than that, I don't even, oh yeah, I mean, my family. I'm not, I'm not, I'm this is it, guys. This is the end. You know, I'm just making end of days videos. Talking about money that will probably be absolutely, it's futile. It's futile. <sighs> Thanks, Cody, for being live, buddy. Let's see. How do I stop sharing this right here? All right. Well, that was it, guys. That's it for the markets today. Every day in every way, getting better and better at this whole sh TV thing, you know, just trying to help wake, wake up the masses, go get some crypto, be vigilant, put your ear to the ground, listen to the wind. You know, if you got money in the stock market, I'm not selling you to, I'm not telling you to cash out now, but I got a lot of clients that have been hitting me up, telling me what they, what, what I think and just be vigilant. That's what I tell them. Be vigilant. Panda watch. Nice, dude. That's going to be our inside secret right there, buddy. Panda watch. I need to watch. I'm going to watch that movie today and I'll report back some other phenomenal one liners, best one liners in movie history, I think. That, Step Brothers, those are, I think, I think Will Ferrell. I think Will Ferrell, king of the one liners. What do you think? Type in your favorite movie one liner below along with your XRP address. If anybody actually does this, I'm going to send someone some XRP. So if you go ahead and type in your favorite one line comedian and your XRP address, I'm going to send you some XRP today. Um, anyways, yeah, just chilling, waiting for Noah to get here. And uh, that's it for the show. That's it. No coffee. And I'm feeling good, actually. Now that I meant, now that I'm on that, I'm going to talk about that for a second. Did we just become, did we just become best friends? You want to go out in the, in the garage and do karate? Um, but man, I'll tell you the biggest thing I've, I've noticed, my sleep, my sleep, my sleep is so much better since I stopped drinking or consuming caffeine. I haven't really consumed, I mean, coffee is the only thing I don't drink soda pop or 
I mean, some very rarely, like maybe on a road trip, I will drink uh, an energy drink. But other than that, it was coffee. Um, but now, I mean, my sleep is way better. I'm waking up early, waking up, feeling much more rested. Um, it's awesome. So I got a lot of other things going on and yeah, I will see you tomorrow. See you later.